hello everyone welcome back to the dainty seamstress today i have a special video i'm going to be unboxing the series 3 lol surprise omg speedster doll okay so i got everything taken out of the box so let's take a look at her so this is her very cute i really really like the lol dolls i don't really care for the smaller little um baby looking ones but i think these are really cute and very fashionable very trendy bright and colorful I have a collection that I will be sharing, but I decided to start with this one because my mom actually bought her for me yesterday. And we decided that this would be a great unboxing video. So here we are. But you know, it's giving Tron, it's giving Neon Color Block very cute very bright colored and i if i'm not mistaken i think it glows in the dark i'm gonna have to look at that a little later but she has on a really cute little jacket orange and a little checkerboard with a little um a little collar here um i'm not sure if that's supposed to just hang off like that i would have preferred you know of course i would have preferred it to just be like you know what it looks like on the box because on the box it's closed <laughs> but it's okay whatever right and she has these really cute little earrings pointing up one is pointing down orange and pink eyeshadow and lipstick to match the outfit is what it looks like on the back love the boots with the little neon yellow soles and heels i think she's really really adorable and i love her hair really cute okay so that's the doll now let's see what the surprise is so it's wrapped in tissue paper most of them are what could this be um oh. flaming sunglasses very very fashionable very cute very befitting for this outfit let's put those on let's see yes i like it love it i like that their hands well, I like their um, articulation in the wrist, and they have these really cute little nails. I don't know if you can see it, but she has really long nails. Really cute. And let's see, does she have any socks on? Let me, oh, I hit her on the head. Oh my gosh. That's her foot pointed, it has a little hole in it on the bottom. Really cute one thing i would have liked to have seen this is just me but I, I actually think that there may be some other people thinking this too we'd love it if the knee had articulation so we could pose them that'd be great if they had articulation in the knee but she's very very cute i love this little hairstyle up down half up half down the curled bang there's a lot of product in the hair which is fine because i don't i'm not going to be altering the hair i'm going to take her glasses off so we can see her cute little face and put those up here and so she also comes with a little brush and she comes with a stand and most of the stands come with um multiple size i want to call them waist holders Let's see, it's on here with a rubber band. Let me take that off. That's the first one that I've seen like this that has rubber bands 
holding that together usually it's just kind of stuck on there but i guess you it can't do that here but anyways here's the stand it's white you know that was the right way so it just fits in here like a puzzle put that down and then this will be for the waist i'm assuming that's for the waist but this could be for the waist too maybe there's two for the waist you know let's see so it's on here like this and then okay let's see whoa is that a hole okay you guys <laughs> and i know i didn't just do this i did not just do that so let's let's see i'm gonna okay first of all let's take another look at the jacket before i explore that hole that i just found the jacket has cutouts on the shoulders you can see here that's pretty cute that's really really cute i didn't notice it at first but there's cutouts on the shoulders so now i'm gonna explore the hole that i just found which i'm not surprised sadly to say because i've received other lol dolls with things wrong with them and i'm not gonna lie it's very disappointing to be honest very disappointing so if you can see here in the back there's a hole like how So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. If I'm going to, we're going to try to take her back to the store and get another one. Or maybe I'll just deal with it. I, I'm, I'm going to decide that after the video. But that's really sad. Other than that, she's really cute still. Very cute doll. She was $19 at Target. That's where my mom got her from. Another thing I was looking at. Okay, so let me check this out too. So I wanted to know if this was separate, if it's shorts and tights or if it's just connected. Oh, great. It's separate. All right. But I kind of also <laughs> would have liked them to put a shirt on under her. Like, what's the deal with that? But okay. That's okay, too, but she's going to stay like this anyway. I'm not going to change her clothes. But other than the hole in her jacket, she's really cute. Her hair is cute. I like her. I like her a lot. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much. For tuning in to this little unboxing here's our gloves i don't know if i showed those very well for another look get you guys another look at her before i go it's her boots in the back her gloves i really like this doll oh my gosh really upsetting about the hole in her jacket but it, it <laughs> <laughs> that's that's where we are i don't i don't know what's going on with the companies and the quality control but they're gonna have to get that together they're gonna have to get it together we doll collectors should not have to deal with it and i know that these dolls are made for children first of all they're made for kids and the kids don't care right but the parents of the kids care, I'm very sure. And the adult doll collectors, we care. Because we're spending money on items and they need to be 
quality items. There's no reason for there to be damages like this. Okay, you guys, I have to come back because upon further investigation of this outfit, look at this giant hole in the... I mean, it's not giant, okay. But look at that huge hole right here. How and why? I just had to, to put that on camera. So there's a hole here in the back. How did that get there? And then the hole here. I, you guys, they have to really get, get some better quality control procedures or something because that's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. She's still super cute, but I just... <sighs> I'm not feeling that the clothes are coming and they're messed up. And, you know, it's like, I know I can fix it, okay? I can sew it, I can mend it, and all of that, but that's not what it was purchased for. You know what, while we're at it, since we're on this topic of receiving things damaged or purchasing items damaged, I'm going to show you the other one that I bought that and and what happened with that one, one moment so this one i got this one from poshmark from a seller on poshmark the doll was in the box new in the box there was nothing wrong with it you know she's really adorable really cute it's giving marilyn monroe and also um Cardi B actually had this outfit on. So I know that LOL is looking at celebrities and musical artists and they're getting inspiration from them to make their dolls. That is a fact. But anyhow, anyhow, I got the doll. She's absolutely adorable. But when I opened the surprise, this was the bag. Now, the bag... <laughs> There's supposed to be sunglasses on the little bag, on the face of the purse, and the glasses were not in the packaging. Now, you can imagine how I felt real when I realized that I was just like, then there was nothing that could be done about it because I ordered it from Poshmark, from a reseller. So who am I really contacting about this um this defect i couldn't contact uh the lol company because i didn't purchase it directly from them so that's one thing you want to think about when you're purchasing dolls and they're in the original packaging you're ordering them from uh, third party second party people or e-commerce websites if it's not coming directly from somewhere like walmart or somewhere like target like a department store and your stuff is damaged there's really nothing you can do but maybe you could return it but in this case i could i could not because of that but i <laughs> I don't know maybe I can find one on eBay with the bag or find the bag by itself and then I can swap it out or whatever but that's just that's been my experience with these dolls there's always something wrong with them and I don't understand that but anyhow this is <laughs> gonna be it for this video I hope that you enjoyed it you can comment, like, share, and subscribe. Do you collect OMG, the LOL OMG surprise dolls? Do you like them? Do you own this one? Let's chat in the comments and let's talk. Thank you for tuning in. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you and God bless.